to this young man. He is a stud, David Francisco. At 20 years of age, I believe this young man could well be the future of this business. He's got an amateur wrestling background. He loves the sport of professional wrestling. And just seven days ago, in Barcelona, Spain, he shot the wrestling world by pinning the undisputed British heavyweight champion, Michael Oku. He knows how to make an impact. He knows how to make an opportunity count. I know, I understand why the wrestling world in general would be shocked at the fact that Dothaya, that's how you say it, by the way, Dothaya, what's right, Dothaya won the match last week. But people in Barcelona and Spanish wrestling in the world of amateur wrestling, he's not surprised at all that that yeah, would come. It wasn't an upset as far as they were no. concerned, was it? Because they know what this young man's all about. Dothaya is a four time Spanish amateur wrestling champion. He represented Spain in the world championship championships two less than two years ago one of the top competitors in spain in the sports of wrestling and in all of europe it is no surprise that he's able to defeat michael oku and to be able to have all those accolades at such a young age has to give you a maturity to endure and enjoy being in a big stage like this one so as i came out there celebrating with Look the stevenage the audience Look at the way he Left onto that top rope with Very ease. Athletic. This young man is the real deal. This young man is an athlete's athlete. He's got the potential to be world class, but can he get it done when the undisputed British heavyweight championship is on the line? Is this his night to shock the world and reclaim professional wrestling for the nation of Spain? Because you know they're watching at home and you know the whole nation's behind him. And here he comes on home territory and listen to the reaction for that young man last time he was here in Stevenage he was in an all-out war which he survived against Gabe Kidd tonight if he's victorious against Desire, I believe he equals the record for defences of that undisputed British Heavyweight Championship currently held by Marty Skull. If he's able to do that tonight, he puts himself joint top of the history books. One more defence and he'll once again have broken another record in Revolution Pro Wrestling because that is what that man does he breaks record David the only Grand Slam winner in Revolution Pro Wrestling British Jacob Revolution Rumble great British Tag League Tag Team Championship Cruiserweight Championship and of course the most important prize of them all that undisputed British Heavyweight Championship he wears around his waist not just that we talk about some side missions, some side quests. The only man in Revolution Pro Wrestling to have defeated the bastard Pack. And the last man to have pinned in a Revolution Pro Wrestling ring, the Aryan Assassin, Will Ospreay. Michael Oku is a history maker, he's a record setter, and he is your undisputed British heavyweight champion. I'm fortunate, fortunate enough to spend a lot of time with Michael Oku to have a little insight into his mind, and I need to tell you what his journey and mission is now. The one thing he's focused on more than anything is on becoming the greatest undisputed British heavyweight champion in the history of Red Pro. Numbers count! And today has to be something that we'll have to add to it as he continues his journey to history, to hatch his name in the history of British wrestling through that.
Tag Championship and through Revolution Pro Wrestling. Listen, the weight of the world is on Michael Oku's shoulders now, though. And it can be very, very different. It always felt like he was looking for a, a, almost approval because everyone knew that Will Ospreay was the best wrestler in the world. Yet Michael Oku was the undisputed British heavyweight champion. And listen, this is a very different atmosphere oh, than listen Zataya to experienced last week yeah, in Barcelona. Yeah, you tell me, you were there in Barcelona. Zataya was so, the so popular. The contest is a singles match with a 16-minute time limit scheduled for very rude to interrupt me, Francesca. Come on. And it is for the undisputed British Heavyweight Championship. I am very curious about the reaction this one is going to have to Thalia and how he's going to handle it. Challenger from Madrid, Spain. He is the freestyler. He is the hidden gem. So. And if you haven't watched their contest last week in Barcelona, you have to go out your way to see it. And introducing the current reigning and defending undisputed British heavyweight champion, accompanied by Amira. He is the master of the half crab. Let's go. There's a big fight atmosphere in the air tonight, isn't there? And like, in one night last week, Zazoya became a superstar. Can he take it one step further and become undisputed? I think people here in Stevenage, especially those that didn't, weren't lucky enough to see the match last week or to at least know who Zazoya is, who maybe for a lot of people is the first time that they're seeing him at all, they're going to be very surprised about what Zazoya brings to the ring here. This time, Michael Oku will not be surprised. This time, Michael Oku knows what he's up against, and now he's playing in home turf. You have to give the mental advantage to Michael Oku. On the other hand, Tathaya knows that he can beat one of the top wrestlers in the world, and all he has to do is beat him again. The motivation that Tathaya must be feeling right now to win that championship, knowing what that means to his career and the platform that, that would give him, has to be a huge motivator. This is just another defense for Michael Oku. This is the biggest night in Thotaya's career for Zazai. Well, it is, but again, like I say to you about the weight of expectation on the shoulders of Michael Oku. He is going to do everything he can to win this match. And he knows that if Zazai beats him, if lightning strikes twice, which it can do, if Zazai beats him, what will people then be saying about Michael Oku? He won't have that joint record for most offences. He'll no longer be called the undisputed British heavyweight champion. We know how badly Michael Oku wants to be a part, wants to walk in to the main event of the Copper Box Arena on Saturday, August 24th, to defend that championship against Luke Jacobs. And Zazaya <laughs> taking that. Michael Oku down early, showing some of that freestyle wrestling background. Very quick as Zazaya has. And again, has look at that nice fireman's Harry there from it's, Zazaya, it's taking the himself back. as one of the greatest grapplers in yeah. Europe right now. And listen, one thing that Zazaya doesn't have this week, which he had last week, was the element of surprise. Mm -hmm. But it was Michael Oka who spontaneously challenged Zazaya seven days ago in the center of that ring in Barcelona. Michael Oka got caught up in the atmosphere. He got caught up in the emotion, just like every single one of us who was there live, everyone who watched on RevProOnDemand.com, he got caught up in that atmosphere and he laid out that challenge for seven days time, which is here tonight. Is seven days enough to, to research and to reanalyze and prepare for an undisputed British heavyweight championship match against a man who's just beaten you? When pro wrestling is your life, seven days is more than enough time. And listen, seven days is all you have. So you're gonna ha it's gonna have to be enough. But it didn't have, have to be. He could have said, I want to do it next month. He should have said, I want to do it at 229 well, next time we're in Stevenage. You'll call as there's a nice leapfrog from Zazaya. Uh, there it is. Go. Maybe that answers your question, Andy. He yeah. saw that dropkick coming. Absolutely. I understand what you mean. Watch out, but, oh, oh yeah. and this again. And again he, saw, he it again. saw it coming. And run it. And here comes that dropkick that he follows it up through. Beautiful and pinpoint you saw, accuracy. Yes. 
you saw Zazaya come rushing in and he got caught with a drop kick. And there's an experienced sign there from Michael Oku. The demeanors by these two wrestlers in the first few minutes of the match are very different. So Michael is, is calm and collected. I mean, yes. Almost like he's used to this. Yes. Zodaya is excited and he is nervous. He's and very the, much in control. Look, can we draw parallels from that, those contests between Pac and Michael Oku? Mm. I was about to say that uh, it's very interesting how the roles have reversed. And like two years ago, maybe longer than that, Zodaya right now was Michael Oku. Well, we did have a pandemic in the middle, didn't we? But <laughs> we, we tend to forget about that. Hanging neck breaker from Oku. She said two counts, Zaya rolls a shoulder. What year was it? Uh, 2019, he defeated Pat. Jesus, all right. Yeah. It's been two Just months. Before the world went crazy. And uh, that's the thing, isn't it? You, you learn in such a short amount of time when you're competing against the best wrestlers in the world. And that's exactly what Mike Loku has been able to do. And that's exactly what Zaya wants to do. He wants to compete on a regular basis against the best in the world. and. Listen, I think it's not going to be long before you see Zazaya on a world stage. You're seeing him right now. <laughs> Getting chopped really hard on yeah, Michael Oku. Right, absolutely. Michael Oku's obviously got other ideas, hasn't he? You know what? I know the ref pro hasn't seen it a lot, but Michael has a nasty side. And sometimes he comes out when he's against the ropes. Michael challenged Zazaya for this match only one week because at the end of the day, iron sharpens iron. That is the position that Michael Oku has always dreamt to be yeah. in, as I let him have this. Oh, no. Zazaya ducked out. That was almost a double shot there from Zazaya. You have to follow through. Oh, oh, that's what we're talking about. There's the nervousness. And now Michael brings it up a notch. Yeah, you've got to think if Zazaya committed there, he saw Mike Loku moving and almost slowed that. If he committed, he could have caught him on the way out, couldn't oh, he? I waited until Michael was no, going wow. for it. There's the and hands roll. on. Perfect. Oh, Jesus! Perfect the way Michael professional Landis. wrestling from Zazaya, the champion in trouble. He transitions to a gut wrench, and look at this from Zazaya. Round and round, Michael Oku goes where he stops. Only Zazaya's gonna know. All right, that's enough. Are you trying to rival wow. RKJ? Now, there we go. Ragdolling him. Zazaya has not taken long to announce his arrival to this Stevenage crowd. Not only is Michael's back in agony after that landing, but he's dizzy. There we go. He is yeah, dizzy. Absolutely. He doesn't know where he is. Disorientated, and discombobulated. And Zazoya now, look at him. He's taken the center of the ring. He's got the ring control on the champion. Waiting for the perfect time to fall through Oku the champion. trying to defend himself. <laughs> I Oku think Zazoya, doesn't know where the is right now. He's made a mistake by bringing... I know, I know he feels... Oh, wow. Catches him again. Floats over into a pinning attempt, I just a two count. I understand where you were going. I honestly believe Zazaya yeah. does they make <laughs> very few mistakes. He, his gameplay is just different to what we're used yes, to, Yes, absolutely. Right? Unorthodox, but he's again a hybrid style wrestler. Mm -hmm. That's one of the most beautiful things about professional wrestling. The diversity on styles. We've certainly seen a diversity of styles of pro wrestling on display here tonight. As Zazaya with a fireman's carry again, just it's a two count. Michael Oku kicking out. Michael Oku trying to remain calm, trying to keep his composure. But Zazaya is smothering the champion right now. It's going to wear you down, isn't it? And he's got that cardio for days as Zazaya because of that amateur wrestling background. Zazaya is also and, and when I say the amateur wrestling background, he's still very much an active freestyle wrestler, isn't he? Mm -hmm. uh, and, and trains with it and incorporates that training into professional wrestling where the rules are different. He's able to adapt and be a hybrid, as you were saying. It's a great word for it. Changing up levels. Zaya Zaya. is also taller than Michael. And when it comes to putting on yeah. holds like uh, the, the get roll, like the the front chancery that he had on, the fact that you're told your opponent's going to be great. This, watch this, watch out, oh, he caught him. Michael Zaya was measuring him, and Oku caught him not once, but twice. And there you go, nice missile drop kick from Oku. And there's another example of the fact that Oku has learned a lesson. When you see someone like Zazaya coming at you like that, you don't know whether to go high, whether to go low. And that's exactly what Zazaya was aiming for right there. But Oku caught him square in the jaw, not once, but twice, and wrestles his way back into this contest. When you wrestle someone for the first time, you don't know what it's going to be like. But every time since then, you'll be able to kind of expect and remember what it felt like last time. Now, wrestlers walk into the corner. It's not the first time that Michael gets put through it. And this time, he was ready for it. He had a strategy. Tried Normally to go for a DDT, but doesn't get it. 
example, we spoke about Michael Oku knowing Zazoya better, but Zazoya now knows Michael Oku better. He knew he followed up that DDT, put the brakes on, changed the grip, nice vertical suplex. We keep talking about how Michael Oku was the one that had to study his opponent to make sure he wouldn't lose again, but how about Zazoya having to study his opponent to make sure that he win again? Imagine Zazoya coming out of here with the British Heavyweight Championship. As he fires up, Stevenage knows that Michael Here is in go. trouble. Here we go now. He's is he going to get it again? Yes, he does. He catches him this time. Oku, dead weight on the shoulders. Zazaya him, him around the ring. That's the worst because you know something's coming. You just don't know when. Dumps him. The only thing he failed to do there, David, was hook the leg. Maybe. He did have a lot of weight on uh, his shoulder blades. With the training that he has and the disciplines of training that, he ha that he's been through, look, it's rarely in amateur wrestling do you see people going for the legs to get the pin because you will. You just need to have the shoulder blades down. Yeah. You don't have to hold them there. Listen, I, so those instincts are going to probably kick in. Yep. And, uh, and again, look, it's very easy to sit here and critique when you're in the heat of the battle. Yeah. It's a very different story. That's what I keep telling you. I know what it's like evading. 404 oh. right on the money. Brain yeah. not found as Ozaya tries to find some space. He knows he's rocked, so he the, goes the, to the yeah. apron. It goes against all your instincts, doesn't it, when Mike Loku changes up your direction like that? Because you almost, you can see him coming out your peripheral vision. It forces you to look up, and as you look up, Bang! My cloak who connects with that big knee. And you know it's coming. You try to prepare yourself for it, and you still are not able to because when you th when you think you're, it's time to react. The knee is already hitting you because you don't but see watch it coming. Out to no! Oh, <laughs> Let's go. Him. He caught him. So snappy on that drop kick, making sure he lands perfectly in position as he sets up. Speaking of other sports. How about some high jump incorporated into professional wrestling? As he gets all the momentum, goes around Watch the ring, Zazaya, Zazaya! There you go, that's what he's looking for earlier. Look at that, wow! He caught him, he caught the champion. You have to follow through if you're going to be able to catch well, Michael I think he's more than willing to follow through right oh What? God! Zazaya flies through the air! And you can say what you like, David Francisco, but Zazaya is making these people believe us. He's making his moment. He's making his opportunity count. Whatever happens after the day, Zazaya is 100% making. But watch out, Michael Oku! That's free floor! He took his eye off the prize for one split second, and Michael Oku connected with a huge we flop. Mind I say, he got his eye on the prize. He was eyeing that championship title that Amiru is holding, and that distraction was just enough for someone at the level of Michael Oku to take advantage of, and the Fosbury flop came, and both these wrestlers are down. That was very high-impact moves that they suffered there. As Amira continues to will Michael Oku, Holding that championship, getting Stevenage to <laughs> cheer for their champion. Thazai is in perfect position for one of the most effective weapons in Michael Oku's arsenal. Yeah, looking for that frog spot for Zazaya. He knows, he knows he's in danger. Nice evasive work from Zazaya. Oh my Jesus. goodness! It was going to go make for that defense, drop kick. Offense. And look at the ease from Zazaya. Oh, he picks him out of midair with a super kick. Michael Oku picked him out of midair with a super kick. Studying those San Francisco tapes. Well done. From Here he comes. Oh my God! He ate, he ate the knees last week. He ate them again this week. He didn't think Zazaya could be so audacious. But Oku kicks out into the knee. He ate the knee. Pele kick. My God, what a match! Stills on his feet, Thosaya refuses to stay down as they crisscross the ring! Oh. Double iron! And they've come oh up of it! Oh my goodness! Refusing to stay down! Oh. The title is on the line! Double cross it was body! Like a collision, a car crash in the center of the ring! And both of them are beaten and winded as 
The Scottish ref starts his count. What if none of them get to the do their feet on ten? Are well, we going to get a rematch? Well, we'd we need a rematch, wouldn't 100%. we? But Mike Oku would retain that undisputed British heavyweight championship. The head of Michael Oku is a target for all talents, not just in this country, but all around Europe. The greatest names in this country are gunning for Michael in that title. The greatest names in Europe are gunning for Michael in that title. And he is here taking on all challengers. He is here waiting Look for all defiant, challenges. That defiant shake of the head from Zazoya. He's trying to will himself. And shake the cobwebs out of the same time. 100%. As they meet in the center of the ring. Listen to the crowd here in Stevenage. They're going insane for this match. They know they're watching history right now. Both men exchanging center of the ring. It is a battle of attrition right now. Both of them are trying to be the ones that hit the other one hard enough that they're able to follow through. Even if they want to follow through, they're winded, they're tired. This has been a very intense match. And they're just oh, trying wow. to find an opening. Both rocked. Trying to get their bearings. Michael making sure he keeps his feet underneath him to push off of that for the forearm. Thothaya has the oh, advantage wow, on Reed. Zazaya realizes that Oku's rot and he claims him in the ropes. Oku hanging onto those ropes, but, but Zazaya has got him well and truly rot. The champion is compromised. Zazaya, huge forearm. Oh no, Oku comes back with a leg kick. And that was smart from Michael Oku, changing tact. And for the first time in this contest, Michael Oku's targeted the leg of Zazaya. And he may be questioning why he didn't try it earlier, because now he's looking to start the systematic breakdown, the prep. Oh no, he got caught. And that may be why he didn't try it earlier, because of Zazaya's Here range. Here he goes he again. I hey, caught him. This time he was able to catch him. Jeez. New oh. champion, new oh. champion. Oh. He's following Zazaya's up, he's following up, so smart. The sense of urgency is wonderful from Zazaya. Michael doesn't know where he is. Oh my goodness, what a double boot stomp. That can't be it. New champion here, no. Know. It is very hard to keep Michael Oku down, one of the most resilient wrestlers in the world right now. And Zazaya you beckoning. have to keep throwing bombs. He's beckoning Michael Oku back to his feet. He may be giving him too much space, or maybe he's making sure that whatever he's going to come in with next is going to be pinpoint accuracy. Either way, it could be the difference between being the loser or the new so champion. Oh, he got caught. He got caught from Oku. Oku, nice, takes a leg. Looking for that half, crabs as Zaya kicks off. PK from Michael Oku. Oku's not done. The is in perfect position. Oh, no. He saw it coming. They know each other so well. And Zaya not done. Oh, oh this time he, he catches boots. him as well. He ate the boots. Oku, oh, what a drop kick sending Zazaya crashing back into the corner. And Michael Oku now, this is your moment, make it count. Is this the one frog splash that's going to give Michael Oku the win as he fights through the pain and fights through exhaustion, making sure he keeps his balance underneath him. Michael Oku climbs to the top rope and tries to get the frog splash, but it's a bit too much time. Zazaya really has Michael Oku rocked. But as he clears the cobweb, oh, got him! Connect. Picture perfect! Beautiful! And still, you are no! What? No! Uh, you're in disbelief, I see your face! The, the, I'm in disbelief! The technique Michael of the kickout! Michael Oka's in disbelief! The technique of the kickout was perfect from Zazaya. He pushed away over the head and neck of Oku to find a releaser, because Michael Oku had the perfect cover, but Zazaya had the perfect answer. 
the instincts of Michael Oku as he began after that kickout was in disbelief, but he immediately remembered that he is in the ring with top talent, someone that seven days ago was able to defeat him. Yeah, and now he's going to be starting to worry about that championship. So he knows that this shouldn't surprise him. He knows he needs to dig deep, and he knows that he is facing one of the hardest challengers that he's had in this but reign. He also knows he hasn't had an opportunity to lock in that half crab yet. As he's looking to the people, he's surveying the scene, but is he taking too long? The master of the half grab. Zazaya fighting it. He has the key lock applied and will try to turn Look and those twist open them. palm strikes from Zazaya, keeping him in this. Oh, he's he got caught on him. Oh, no, but he made it comes out. What is Zazaya thinking? Up on the shoulders. Look oh, at this from Zazaya. Up on the shoulders. Through. Zazaya, send you the ring. The Madrid al cielo is Zazaya gonna hit it. Now he got caught. Oh my God. Poison Rana from Michael Oku. Zazaya had started the victory march too early as Oku off the ropes. This time he got it. Oh, look at the snap of that. He got it. Oh my God, we got a new champion, Eddie. We got a new champion, Eddie. No. The dream was almost a reality for Zazaya. From Madrid to the sky, De Madrid al Cielo. That incredible variation on a Death Valley driver. Zazaya used it so effectively. In fact, he used it seven days ago to defeat Michael Oku. He used it off the middle rope, it's David. True. That was a difference. He used it off the middle rope. But Zazaya now, he's looking confident. He's growing in confidence as this contest continues. He knows what he's going to try next, and he's shooting for it. Big kick. Right on the money. And he may try to do it again. Yeah, I think that's exactly what he's going for. He knows this is what worked last week and he's going to try and do it again, Andy. He knows yeah. how important this moment is. He cannot give any space to Michael Oku while at the same time he's exhausted. He is battered. But and he wants sweaty. that title. Oh, is he looking for a Spanish fly? Oh, maybe as well. An homage to his trainer. Hey, kid. Absolutely. He's on the top rope. Oku and now he brings Michael to the top of the top Oh, got him! Fly! Connect from Zazaya! Michael Oku doesn't know where he is. He tries to get back his to his feet. But that be a mistake! His reign is in power! He caught him! My God! From a kid in the match, we got a new champion at it! We got a new champion! Oh, God! No! No! Zazaya knew exactly what he was going to try after Michael Oku is able to kick out. He wanted to use a move that has been so successful yeah, in tribute, Spanish wrestling. A tribute to one of his trainers, a kid. And, and this contest in Spain has built, been billed as a night that Spanish wrestling is put back on the map. Zazaya now, now you can tell that he might not know what he needs to do to follow through. And he's but he keeps he's trying. He's more emotion right now, isn't he? More emotion from the challenger as a champion is on the ropes. Here it comes again. Zazaya gets caught. Oh, he ate the super kick. He ate the super kick hard. It's and Michael's so cool. time. Oh, oh. Michael loved it. You say it's Michael's time. It feels very much right now like it's Zazaya's time. Zazaya! Gets him again. That kick has been so effective for Zosaya to be able to rock his opponent and be able to rock Michael Oku in this match. And again, he's looking for it, David. Maybe a Spanish, maybe a Spanish fly? No, this time I think he's going. This time I think he's going for that, that, that Death Valley driver from the, the, fact, from the middle rope. The fact that we don't know. Okay, now we know. The fact that we didn't know go. he has options is also his opponent doesn't exactly know he's going to try. This is how he defeated but he's gonna him. Do it. It might be a matter of time. Seven days ago, Zosaya got Michael Oku in this exact position. The Madrid al cielo. Is he going to try again as he tries to get his knees and hips underneath him? Fights up! Oh, Michael oh, got him this time! Oh, a champion learns and responds. He and was Michael Oku did just that. He was waiting for the perfect time to counter Zosaya it. instinctively has moved on to his stomach. That's that may have saved him. That's but Oku rolls him over and Oku not done Oku not done Michael Oku from the top rope 
So far away is Osaya, but he still gets him. Big frog splash. Michael Zosaya no, kicked go. out. Zosaya kicked out. He is making a name for himself tonight, or he will die trying, Andy. Nothing is going to stop Zosaya from getting that title. He will have to be put down by the champion because he refuses to quit. So Michael's going to drag him down and put him in a position where Zosaya has no nice. choice but Heart to quit. Applied. Center of the ring. Beautiful pressure as well. You can notice how Michael is a little bit sideways when you're resting an opponent taller than you. You will do that to pinpoint the pressure on one side of the blow he back. the bottom rope. Oku drags him back in though. Is the referee going to allow it? Yes, he is. And look at that. Look at the talk. Look at that from Oku. The positioning, the center of the ring. Doesn't get as much extension as all he does. Ozaya is taller than his opponents are, normally are. Michael He's usually would be able to He's get clawing. to the floor. He's reaching. He knows Where's how he important this it? is. is He's he looking at it? the title as he crawls to the ropes, knowing how important it is to get to them. So he knows he what's it. on the line and is able to fight it. Hang on, oh, I'm not sure on. about the legality of this here. It's every choice. Oh my God, look at that extension. And Zosia taps. He taps, he taps. Michael Oku has just tied for most defenses in one reign Can't of confirm. the undisputed British Heavyweight Championship. Second thing, Zosia is the future of this business. Incredible performance. Talk about winning and losing. As Michael Oku has his hand raised, that was a war between two of the bright lights, not of European wrestling, but world professional wrestling. And to think, seven days ago, Zosia, the name Zosia, was not even on our lips. And you saw the lengths Michael Oglu had to go to hang on to that undisputed British Heavyweight Championship. And look at Amira helping Zosia back to his feet, listen. The Daya is very used to high pressure situations. Since he was a teenager, he is competing in championships and winning championships in more than one sport he is proficient in. So it is no surprise that he is able to hang, able to be comfortable in this position. This wasn't his time. His time may still come for a while. Well, I think that one. But all today, now. that one all. Today, the thigh. Listen to that, Michael Oku. Made, saying, him a, made Michael himself a star. Michael Oku saying, "Listen to the people." Michael Oku still your undisputed British heavyweight champion. But I think Michael Oku records realizes what a special talent. Look, he's leaving the ring to Zazara. Michael Oku realizes what a special talent that young man is. You promise you don't suspend me if I go and attack him right now, Andy? I absolutely will. Stay where you are. Listen, Zosia has arrived. Zosia has announced his arrival over this last seven-day period. He's well and truly announced his arrival to not just Revolution Pro Wrestling, but the world of professional wrestling. That young man is a future. And speaking of our future, we'll see you tomorrow when we're live in Sheffield, David Francisco. Can't Good wait. Luck. Good luck. Oscar right. Lieber, you're going down. And then I'm coming for the Zaya after. Well, I'll try to him in his own huge language. win for Michael Oku. But a lesson in defeat for Zaya. Thank you, everyone, for watching. And we'll see you tomorrow live in Sheffield. Follow me on Twitch, you'll love it!